today is cleaning the garden day and get rid of as many aphids as I can because they're taking over my garden. So the plan is to get rid of half of my melons because that is where my biggest infestation is. So I'm gonna get rid of half of my Kajari melons and I will be planting some more Kajari melon seeds in that same spot since I do have enough time for another round of melons. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the <clears throat> melons and I will be getting rid of my tomatoes too. Um, the sun has gotten to them and they're not producing as much. Since it's so hot, the production slows down a lot. So I do have some more some more tomatoes ready to be planted so i'm gonna do that i am going to get rid of um well more like clean up the bed and planting some more so we'll see how it goes it's pretty hot today it has to be like 100 degrees maybe over so we have water we have gloves we have bags <laughs> and I have a mask just in case if the aphids are you know dropping from the cantaloupes because this is really bad I tried my best to get rid of them but they won this one so it's all right they're just gonna go in the trash so let's get to work so I've been reading a lot about aphids and I come to find out that aphids and ants work together. More like ants make the aphids work for them. <laughs> so the ants like to keep the aphids around because they like to eat the honeydew that the aphids produce. So, whenever the aphid is, you know, feeding from the plant, they produce a honeydew, which the, the ants like to eat it. That's why they like to keep them around. So, I spray with neem oil um, pretty often. Maybe not as often as I should, but, but I still do. Um... I mean, I think it's I spray enough to break the cycle, but it's just not working. So this plant, I feel like is the, the root of the aphids. So it's best for me to just get rid of it. So the aphids overwinter, they overwinter that's how they keep their population that's why they come back every spring because you know they they overwinter in around the plants and then they come up in spring and then they start their cycle again so i ordered um a oil a spray i'm not sure um how to say the name but it's something like horticultural oil i will put the name because i don't know how to say it yeah so i got this oil from amazon and i am going to spray it during uh, winter more like oh, more like fall going to winter because you're not supposed to spray it when it's too hot or when it's too cold. So I'm gonna do that. And hopefully I can lower the population by doing this um, because they're gonna keep coming back and getting worse and worse. Well, this is gonna take a while. I'm trying not to spread them all over the place. You know, because I feel like if I shake the plant too much, they're just going to rain on me. 
sâu It's gonna rain. Kind of feels like that. Who knows? They always say it's gonna rain and it, and it doesn't. So. Never mind. I think it will. <laughs> so I was. I was reading that the female the female aphid produces up to 80 aphids in its little lifetime so they they produce a lot of babies so they only but they only live about 25 days that is their their lifetime just 25 days I mean around I'm sure some of them live longer some of them live less but that is the average lifetime they have I think that this heat is just not helping because well first I'm not outside as much right now because it's so hot that you know it's kind of either I'm out here hanging out maybe possibly pass out from a heat stroke um, but I'll be taking care of my garden <laughs> So I had to go inside because it was getting too hot. So let's finish this kind of loops already because it's taking me all day to do it. four trash bags later this bed is pretty much clean I left a few flowers and that tomato I'm not sure if I'm gonna get rid of it maybe maybe not I don't know so yeah so this one I'm just gonna add some compost to it and I'll be ready to plant the trellis is clean now are we doing the same thing on this side? I'm gonna add compost. And yeah, that is it. Well, that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.